हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज विदान वेलकम यू टू माय चैनल इन आवर लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड सीन डिफरेंशियल एम्पलीफायर सर्किट विद ओपन लूप एंड विद फीडबैक वी सॉ द सर्किट्स विद ओपन लूप एंड फीडबैक एंड सॉ देयर आउटपुट वोल्टेज फॉर्मूले and in today's video we will again take up differential amplifier circuit first with open loop and derive the output formula and then we will take the differential amplifier circuit with feedback and derive the output formula so let's start with open loop so here we have the circuit of da differential amplifier with open loop because there is no feedback we know this is the output formula and we will derive it a is the open loop gain which is very huge v plus is the voltage to positive terminal v minus is voltage to negative terminal we already know that differential amplifier when we use an operational amplifier to make a differential amplifier circuit we give two input voltages and these are two input voltages and both the voltages are with respect to ground even the output voltage is also with respect to ground all the voltages are always with respect to ground and we know this is the output formula now we have to derive it to derive the output formula we use a principle named principle of superposition and to work out the principle we go through three steps the first step is we have to assume that the positive terminal is grounded that means we will eliminate the voltage that is available to the positive terminal but the voltage to the negative terminal will be there as it was and in that condition we will find out the output so this was the first step the second step is next we will do grounding here we will ground the negative terminal that means we will eliminate the voltage this one whatever that is available to the negative terminal but the voltage to the positive terminal will be available and in this condition again we will find out the output voltage and the third step will be to add those two output voltages and that addition is final output for this differential amplifier circuit so let's start principle of superposition so let's go by first step and it says that we will eliminate this voltage that means we will ground it so we have grounded it even if i write down this resistance it does not matter because the voltage since i have grounded even if there is a resistance the voltage at this point is also zero now the voltage available to the negative terminal will be as it was it is v minus here so minus is just the symbol that this is a voltage which is available to the negative terminal and this is also with respect to ground now we have to see the output to find the output we must know what circuit this is and you can understand that this is inverter circuit with open loop because only there is a voltage to the negative terminal and there is no feedback so it's inverter amplifier circuit with open loop condition that means with no feedback so what is the output we know this output is since it is inverted to the negative terminal so it is minus a times v input that means minus a into v minus because input voltage is v minus so this is it now let's go by second step
now the voltage to the positive terminal will be available but voltage to the negative terminal will not be available that means we will eliminate this voltage we will ground it so let's ground it we can show it in this way or let's show it in our conventional manner okay biased now in this condition what is the output this is V plus this voltage first of all we have to understand what circuit this is and we can see this is the non inverter circuit with no feedback it is non inverter circuit with open loop condition so what is the output the output is plus gain times V input that means A into V plus is the V input and the same voltage will be available here we know so A times V plus let's name this V naught prime and let's name it V naught double prime now the third step is the output voltage is equal to the addition of these two voltages this V naught dash and this V naught double prime and this is minus A V minus plus A V plus and this is A times V plus minus V minus so this is the final output voltage so we use the principle of superposition whenever two input signals are there and what is the case for differential amplifier we can see in that condition we use the principle of superposition we use the first step that means we ground it and suppose the voltage is only available to negative terminal and then use the second condition that is we ground the negative terminal and supposing only the voltage available to the positive terminal and in the third step these two outputs we add and finally this is the output you can see we already know this is the output and by using the principle of superposition we have got it so this is the answer